Hello and welcome back at Transgroom TV. Today it's all about Groomania. We are going to do a demo on stripping techniques with the Sentinel stripping knives. And we are here together with Thierry Pierbeuf and Ronnie the Mentor. The Sentinel has many different stripping knives from extra extra fine to very coarse and this seminar is going to show you which stripping knife to use in which part of the dogs. First of all I want to explain how to hold a trimming knife because a lot of people hold it wrong. A lot of people will hold a trimming knife in this direction and when you hold the trimming knife in this direction, it will be easier cutting uh, than when you hold it like straight on the coat. If you hold it straight on the coat, you go with the flow of the coat and it will take the coat out like it grows in or grows out. So the, the right direction is you push the coat with your tongue in the direction of the knife. You put your knife against it, you hold the skin and you just pull. And I'm here to do the testing because when you see this, there's not one single hair broken and that's what is important. And here you see a close-up from the hairs. If the hair would have been broken now, you would see very little pieces of coat on the white piece of paper. And any stripping knife which you use on show dogs should be tested this way. You hold the knife like this straight on the coat or even this direction is also okay. Or but right. I, I, prefer, uh, yeah. I, I prefer this but it's a way of working. And then you just put, take your tongue, put it against the knife and go in a fluid way and the coat will come out. I'm going to give, give an explanation which is very important for professional groomers who are working in a grooming shop and hand stripping every day. If you hand strip every day and you do it in the wrong way or you use your arm wrong or your wrists wrong, then you get, uh, uh, very, uh, you get, you're going to get injuries very quick. So but if you hold it the right way, then normally you won't have any problems. There are a lot of groomers and their problem is they use their wrist to pull. So if you want to have an operation here, you have to do it this a lot. You will have the operation very soon. But the main thing is to, to hold your wrist and keep it straight and pull in this direction. So it's less tiring for your wrist and you can work all day without any problems. Then the other thing is a lot of groomers they use their elbows and they pull their elbows out while they're trimming that's also very difficult because you're putting all the strength on your elbow and your elbow will have all the force of the pulling and it will tire, be tiring and you get also an injury in your elbow the way to hold it is hold it against your body and pull in this direction same with the shoulder if you if you have the shoulder and you keep the shoulder loose from your body, you put all the force on this arm. And by trimming all day and a lot of dogs, it will get your injuries will be in your shoulder and with operations as a as a as a search as surety for sure. So hold everything against your body, also your elbow, shoulder, pull in this direction and then you can do whatever you want and you won't have any problems then I, you, will, you will have less problems by holding it like this than when you do it the wrong way. And my experience is, is this the right way? I never had an operation, I never had uh, problems with my elbows or my wrist, and I'm trimming normally every day in between 6 to 10 terriers a day, it depends on the breed spot. Chalk is very important when you trim. It's a, it's a helpful uh, product 
So that makes the coat uh, drier, so it's easier to pull out. Uh, when doing ears or body or long coats or legs, it gives also volume if you use it with the cream. So it's a very helpful product. When you do a ear, you just take the ear into your hand, you put your thumb on it and you turn a little bit so it's stretched. And it's very important when you pull it, you pull it with the direction of the coat. It doesn't hurt, it just comes out easy. I like to work with the W2 for the, the coat of like a wire and a belt or a nickel. But I prefer the W3, like for a coat of a whiskey or a can. They're both wire coats, but they're different in length and different in structure. Okay, so, and I see, so this is a little bit wider, yes. but this one is also good for like a uh, westy head or the Yes, you can use the westy head. Hair of the legs? The legs, you can do the legs because of the lines here, it will glide uh, the coat of the legs in between, so it's easier to pull. Same with the head. Ah, yeah, if you pull the hair, yes, those, yes. yeah, uh, I see. And it's right less there. with this one. Yeah, yeah, see? yeah, well, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It depends what breed you have or what breed you like to do. Like this you can use for a universal stripping knife, but I prefer this on like a, a, a body coat. So a you're calling the W2, the medium, as like a universal yes, one? Yes. If you have to buy one, yeah. you would buy if this one? If you buy one. it from the shop, yes. you buy this one. Yes, ah, okay. So the W2, the medium stripping knife, you can, do for, you can use for most of the jobs? Yes, yes, yes. The W3 is also very good for doing legs. That's the coarse one, isn't yes. it? Yes. And it's because of the, the, the space in between every teeth, it will glide the legs hair to the right position. With the W4, you use like for thicker coat, thick harsh coat that are difficult to trim. Sometimes in the shop you have a dog who comes in and he's got a lot of undercoat and the undercoat is, is growing with the upper coat. And it's like an air who hasn't been good yes. for six months. Yes, and then you need this. The teeth are wider, they are also wider here, so the coat, when you pull it in the coat, the coat will open and will comes out easier. Okay. Uh, now this, this dog doesn't really have like thick coat, but it just comes out like butter. Ronnie, we have the W5 and the W1. So the W5 is the extra fine yes. and you use this one on the ears. You would use that for like parts that has to be very short, like ears, cheeks, fronts, uh, the bum here, behind, because it's nearly without any teeth, so you won't have any problems by getting short to the coat and you won't hurt the dogs because you get straight to the skin without any problems. You don't feel them, no. you, you don't nearly feel them, so no. they're actually micro teeth. They're very, it's very small. Job, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's very well made, it's not sharp at all, so it won't damage the coat or the skin, no. and it's really very well made. Yes, you do uh, bring an, uh, a stone after you put, and after you, you, you open the teeth, Individually to, to have no 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 the sharpness yes. is all gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so give me the difference between the extra fine. Why would you use then the W one, which is the fine? Yeah, W one you use also for the flat work, and you would use it like for this part. 
for all parts that has to be blending or being short without doing the extra short parts. So the extra fine is for very short and the W1 is for the shorter parts that has to be blended in from the shorter parts. Because it's an extra fine with very small teeth, you can go close to the skin without any problems and hurting the dog. For those of those who have been scissoring too much on the feet and the hair has gone all soft, with the W5, which is extra fine, the W5, you can easily round the feet instead of scissoring them. And you don't have to take a lot out at the time, but just take a few hairs out and look how easy the soft hair comes out. Next time this hair will be all hard again. As you can see, this paw has been, you know, scissored a little bit too much. And as you can see, it's a bit red. Now, to get rid of the red, you have to take, take out all the soft hairs and the new hairs that will come will be, first of all, more rough again. And because they're more rough, they won't get the dirt and the acid from between the toes, the, you know, the, the, the skin. And it will be nice, hard and white color. This is going really very easy and you know what, many stripping knives you can't grip the hairs but this one you don't even have to go like this all the time to have grip because look, you can keep on gripping it. And I'm not even afraid to go too short on one of Ronnie's champions. So I can even do this, which needs to be really, really shorter. And the hairs are coming out very, very, very easy. I'm using the extra fine W5, but look at the little teeth, you know, you, you nearly can't see them, but they're really there and they really work very much. Thank you for watching this video. This was not a fully trimmed dog, but we just tried to explain how to hold the trimming knife without uh, getting tired and without having problems. We showed you the different lengths of teeth for the different lengths of coat and what you could use for trimming knives on the different parts of the dog. If you want to see a fully trimmed dog, we're gonna make some more videos with, on uh, Transgroom TV for wire-coated breeds. So keep focused and push the button. Romy, thank you. Thierry, thank you for coming. Thank you for making this wonderful product. And I'm looking forward to the future videos together with you. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, keep on grooming.